Right, assalamu alaikum and peace. Welcome back to the channel. I've not done many videos since uh, Mallorca. So this is the first one, 1st of January 2019. And what a better way to start it off is with new bike day. Well, it's not actually a new bike. I've had it about two weeks, but if you're on Instagram, you'll have already seen it. Uh, I got rid of the Trek Emonda SL6 disc. Uh, and the only reason for it really was um, I didn't like the paint color. It was gray. I wanted something a little different, but the bike was a perfectly good bike. Fast up the climbs, stiff, very, very comfortable compared to some of the other bikes I've had. Uh, so I didn't really need to get rid of it, um, but I just saw this other bike, this one behind me, and I really wanted it. So uh, this is the bike. Sick. <laughs> So, as you can see, I've opted for a Tarmac SL6 with a disc. Um, I could have gone for an S-Works, but I really wanted this colour. I'd seen this colour quite some time ago, well, I don't know, maybe a year ago, and it was in an S-Works, but I've just not been able to get hold of it. Um, so, I've been the bullet. I've gone for the standard SL6 rather than the S-Works model. Um, obviously you've got the FAC10 uh, carbon fibre frame and it's probably 11 or 12 in the S-Works. Am I going to notice a difference? Probably not. It would be nice to have the S-Works badge but I'm happy with this one. Also with the S-Works obviously you get even better components. Maybe that one was a frame only, I don't know. So the frame, apparently more aero than the old bench, the bench bias. I've got one of them as well, um, crashed it. It's probably okay to ride. Don't know yet, go down the servo trainer. Um, so apparently it's more aero than the bias. Uh, it certainly feels fast when I've taken it out for a ride. This is primarily gonna be my summer bike. I still need to get a winter bike because I'm not getting fenders on here and I hate getting wet. Um, so yeah, I need another winter bike, I think. All right, so they ship the bike with aluminium headset and handlebars. Doesn't really do it. I mean, when I got the Bench Vias, it came with the uh, hover bars. They were carbon fiber. And they were a nice touch to that bike. So these are gonna get swapped out, I think. I'm going to upgrade them to Aerofly 2 carbon fibre bars, uh, which are on order at the moment. There's none in the UK. The stem, I'm not really a fan of that one either. Purely aesthetics. Is the weight going to make a difference to me? Probably not. Um, so that's probably going to get swapped out as well. Now, the do an S-Works stem, but it's gloss, and there's nothing on this bike that's gloss. So that's, uh, I guess that's going to kill it, is that? So I might swap that out for Envy carbon fiber aero stem. A bit pricey, but looks nice. Uh, so that's gonna get changed. Okay, so the wheels. Roval carbon fiber C38. First time I've had carbon fiber rims. Really nice, really worried that I'm gonna smash them. Don't know what's gonna happen when I get a flat. Uh, knowing me, I'll probably rip the, rip, <laughs> rip the rim apart, putting the tire on with the tire levers. Uh, yeah, I suck at changing tires. Don't know why. I even got a tire key and broke the tire key. I uh, don't know how I managed to do that. But... The hubs are wicked as well. DT Swift's 350. Uh, super silent. So when you're riding down, it's it's nice to make a change. I really wanted the uh, Chris King Buzz, uh, but it was nice to just roll at 30 mile an hour and it was silent. All I could hear was the wind. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, so quite happy with those. I uh, don't think I'll change them out anytime soon. Right, so it ships with um, Ultegra group set all over. Strangely enough, it came with um, 30 cassette on the back, which I didn't realize, and I got it swapped out to 32. Yeah, had I known it was a 30, had I probably left it, I thought it was a 28. I live in Huddersfield, loads of climbs, 
and just like to be on the safe side uh, and opted to a 32 so yeah oh by the way don't judge me because of this that's getting ripped off just soon uh, so yeah Ultegra group set happy wicked responsive light um, happy with that I probably will in the near future um, swap out that to um, DI2 and get um, an upgrade kit uh, probably when I change the bars over I might as well change that at the same time and get DI2 on it I always wanted DI2 um, for a summer bike electronic shifting be quite nice I think so like I said I've got the bench um, it comes with like a, a D-shaped seat post it says S works on the back quite nice uh, with the bench you get the uh, it's like a flat aero thing not too sure about this and the Venge, you don't get one of these, uh, so it just kind of sits there and if it, if it stays in place I'll keep it on, but yeah, not too sure about that. I suppose it makes it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, because that provided it stays in place. Um, Toupe uh, saddle feels alright at the moment. Um, I might swap that out with my Venge uh, seat, power saddle. Uh, getting on really well with that um, lovely uh, saddle that is interestingly enough though if I do swap it out I lose the swap um, option there so I'm, I'm looking at maybe getting some kind of swap gadget for a tail light um, it might be a bit awkward putting a, a light on the back if I need to or maybe just for a spare inner tube tire levers that kind of thing uh, probably kill it to have a, a bag on the back um, so I will lose that if I swap that out for the power saddle right from the front then not great if I switch to um, oh, I was thinking DI2 but if I switch to SRAM ETAP I could maybe lose two wires uh, hydraulic disc brakes why couldn't they just figure out a way of having it all internally routed the cables would have been so much better um, I don't think there's a way to do it um, but yeah still all right maybe when I get the Aerofly two handlebars um, it might look a little better uh, notice first time I've seen this there's no um, no lever to take the skewers out um, so if you're out and you get one of these you're going to need to carry an allen key around with you uh, so make sure you've got that otherwise you're knackered okay from the back everything looks nice and tidy uh, I like the s works there looks pretty cool nothing else to really report obviously it's a race bike you're going to fit no fenders on it so uh, it's pretty clean Got to get rid of this plastic thing. I'll rip that off just so. Check these out. Screwed in. These things are massive. I've taken them out. I'm going to swap them out for some other kind of cheapy plastic plugs, probably. Uh, I don't see the point in them. Quite like the, uh, uh, the disc brakes look pretty cool. The front one's bigger than the back one. Um, the tyres. Um, give you the S Works gripped on 26C tyres um, alright for winter I'm not really going to ride this in winter much um, unless it's really dry uh, but come summer I'll get the tur turbo cottons you know they look nice uh, so I'll definitely be getting some of them on it <coughs> uh, got some cheapo uh, specialised um, block cages to run in I might also get a power meter put on so this winter um, I've been doing a lot of swifting on a turbo trainer and quite like the idea of getting a power meter um, I think it would be a good idea so yeah that's the bike I'm quite happy with it I just need to stay off the internet now and stop looking at bikes uh, and stick with this one for a while uh, I'll let you know how it goes if I make any updates to it uh, changing the handlebars, the stems, getting DI2 on it, uh, so I'll keep you posted on that. 
and I'll also try and make some movies, uh, giving it a ride, letting you know how it feels. I mean, I've, I've been on it a few times in the wet, not really pushed it, not done many mega miles. Um, feels a little stiffer than the uh, ta uh, the, uh, the Trek and Honda, but very similar uh, feel. Um, it's a little lower down on the front end. I've noticed that. Uh, just, that's just something I need to get used to. Um, I have the Venge, which is supposed to be the same uh, geometry, but I think from the head tube to the bottom of the forks, um, the tarmac is um, slightly shorter than the Venge bias. I might be wrong, but um, it felt that way anyway. Um, so I just need to get used to that. Uh, maybe when it's on the turbo trainer, I can lower the handlebars uh, and just get used to it. Uh, also, if I if I lose this fat belly, <laughs> might, might make things a little bit more easier. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, I'll keep you posted on that. Also, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you would change on this bike. Handlebars, stem, probably got to go. Uh, Di2 seems like the right option for me to do. There's nothing wrong with this, um, but like I said, I could have gone for that S Works. Um, really want a Di2, so I think I'm going to get the upgrade kit. Um, but if there's anything else you'd change on here, let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, uh, we'll see, and I'll look into something else. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.